Hey everyone, I'm Allison Cook, the MIAA correspondent, and with me is Justin Graffro, a senior for the UCM baseball team. He's also an international student athlete. So Justin, how did you get started with baseball? Uh, so both my parents like played baseball like up until like I was even born. The kind of the story of my birth is like when I was born, my one like my mother obviously was taking care of me, and then my other parent was still playing like during that weekend. So it was kind of like I was like the team's mascot that weekend, and everyone just kind of like passed me around, and everything. So I just kind of grew up on a field, and baseball's always been like the main sport of my family and in my life. So that's kind of how I started playing it. Oh, what's your fondest memory from baseball? Uh, it's this uh, picture I have actually. I'm I think I'm like two years old. It's kind of it's kind of funny. I just have like a helmet on and then a shirt and like a diaper on and like some rubber boots and I'm like just like putting a tennis ball on a tee with a bat and I'm just hitting the ball like off our garage and picking it up and doing that over and over again. So, yeah. Uh, do you have any pregame rituals? Uh, yeah, my pregame rituals are kind of extensive. It starts about like 30 minutes before for like a home series. I take I drink like the same drink before every game. It's just like a vitamin C, one of those like emergency drinks, and then I listen to like motivational speeches from either like Ray Lewis or like C.T. Fletcher, like fitness industry people, because that's obviously my major. So I look to those people for like inspiration and tips. So I listen to that for like five, 10 minutes. And then I listen to specific songs. It's like um, Square Up by like Rob Bailey and The Hustle. I listen to like two of their songs and then some Five Finger Death Punch, which is like, say hard rock, kind of like light heavy metal stuff, which our coaches like. And then I'll listen to that and then I'll come down the field, get ready and we'll get ready to play. So what do you say are some of the biggest differences between the U.S. and Canada for baseball? Um, well, in general, Canada doesn't have like the same opportunities for collegiate athletics, like in terms of scholarships, money, and exposure. So that's why the majority of just international students in general from any countries, including Canada, like come down here to play. There's just not as much money involved. And if you want to go to the next level, you're not going to get there by playing at a school back home. So I know you've had a lot of MIAA honors mm -hmm. and national honors like last season. Mm -hmm. uh, what is one of your biggest accomplishments? I would say it was last year definitely when we got the All-American. That was pretty cool, definitely. It was statistically the best season I have ever had by a long shot. So yeah, I just want to keep improving and I definitely enjoyed playing last year for sure. Uh, if there is one thing you could tell people about Canada, what would it be? Um, so from a broader standpoint, I would say it's not as different from America as people think it is, but mainly just one quick thing. It's not as cold as you guys think it is either. Um, it's definitely got a lot milder over the years because everyone just assumes it's like snowing all the time. I'm like, like just started snowing like yesterday. It's about the same temperature as it is here. Like there's nothing really that different about it, I would say. Uh, what's one of the biggest hurdles um, you had to get over when becoming an international student athlete? Uh, definitely. Obviously not the language barrier because we speak English obviously in Canada. I would say the dollar transfer because our dollar is less. So whenever like you were thinking about money or where to go to school or like how much you want to spend like down here for like rent or places or gas or food, it's like, okay, I need to take into account if I'm spending like $10 American, that's more like 15 Canadian. And obviously my parents are paying for my school, which I'm fortunate enough to have that. So it's like, okay. We need to budget better. So yeah, I would say that's the main thing I've had to overcome on that aspect. Why'd you choose to come here to play baseball? Um, it, it was mainly to play baseball. Obviously, like I still value my education. I enjoy going to class. My, like, I'm not a slacker in the classroom. Obviously, I wouldn't be playing if I wasn't. So um, it was mainly like UCM had a really good year. The year like they recruited me, they went to the World Series, finished fifth in the country. I was like, this is where I want to be. From a money standpoint, every offer I had was the same as theirs or maybe like a little better but the school wasn't as successful so I mainly came here because I wanted to win. Um, what do you see yourself doing after college? Uh, so plan A is to go pro obviously that's why every college baseball player plays is to mm -hmm. go pro so that's the main goal right now but uh, so plan B is to do an internship most likely in like Lee Summit for like um, like an indoor baseball training facility or like a gym, and then hopefully out of that I can continue working for them or I can go somewhere else and just basically start a job. Because I really like the fitness aspect. I thought I was going to be a vet in high school, and then my parents got me a weight set, and I was like, no, working out's kind of really easy, and a lot of people struggle with it, and I don't really struggle with it, and I like the goal 
part of it, and I like helping people achieve those goals, so that's kind of why I, gra I gravitate towards that. Uh, who's your all-time favorite athlete in Canada? Uh, I would say Donovan Bailey. So he's um, an Olympic sprinter. He was the first man ever to run 100 meter in under 10 seconds, 9.84 seconds in the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. And the reason I know that is because I did a project on him when I was younger. He was like the person I most admire. And I met him. So he just kind of, most people when they think of Canada, they just think of us for like winter sports and hockey. And he's like one of the examples of where we've been able to be at the top in a summer sport, so yeah. And then what advice would you give to another international student athlete that wanted to play in collegiate level in the US? Um, I would say definitely if you have the opportunity to like do it. So I almost didn't, I had the opportunity and I took the opportunity, but I almost didn't. And looking back on it now, it would have been a huge mistake. And also like the caliber of play, I wouldn't say is that big of a gap. Like there's talented kids back home. They just need like the right coaching and the right exposure and they will find success. And just like when you go to a new school, it's gonna be nerve wracking for like the first six months, maybe a year to like get on your feet. But once you come back, if it's a four year, and you come back and you come back, you get more used to it. Or if it's a JUCO, you come back for another year and you're just more used to it. I would just say, don't be afraid. Yeah. All right, thanks Justin. Mm -hmm. um, for the MIAA Network, I'm Allison Cook.